Hey, what's up all? Welcome to a Bonomology video. That's what Terry always says. Welcome to a Bonzolium video. <laughs> it's my homage to the Keatington Meister. Uh, my good buddy. Yeah, so um, just wanted to make this quick video to show you all the space that uh, was recently renovated my basement where I normally make my videos. Uh, I was kind of outgrowing the space and I need a little more room. So I opened up, you may remember there was a closet here behind me and uh, kind of configured things a little differently. So I'm gonna give you all a little bit of a tour. Um, so basically this is the wall that was uh, the closet that was taken out and now it's drum storage. So I'm gonna show you some of these drum kits and maybe I'll go into detail more another time. Um, this is a Camco kit right here that dates probably to the late 50s, early 60s. I'm not sure the exact date, but the bass drum is made out of a tenor drum. It's a 16 by 13. The drum was originally, I'm trying to get another angle of that. It was originally a 16 by 14 and they had cut a half inch off of each side. So it's kind of an odd, unique size. Um, and that's a 12 by eight and a 14, 14. So these are, these are kind of like all bebop kind of kits that I play often on gigs. Um, this blue sparkle jazzette basically with the 18 inch by 14 bass drum. It's not an 1812. Normally the jazz sets were 1812, but this one's an 1814, which I actually prefer, honestly. Um, and then there's part of my red Gretsch round badge kit, red glass glitter, and the anniversary sparkle Gretsch. And the bass drums are down here. Um, like I said, maybe I'll do a video for each drum kit and do a little demonstration on each one as well. And then in the bags, I got the 226s, two big guns. That's the the Black Sparkle Galaxy kit. Um, I mean, uh, Legacy kit and the Stainless Steel kit. And that's a 15 by 12 Tom that I acquired after I got the steel kit um, a couple months back and I'm excited to get those set up and make some videos with them. That's an actual steel tom. It's not the Ludd alloy chrome chrome over aluminum uh, with the mock lugs that came with the kit. That's the only drum that is not really authentic steel shell. I look like I'm in hell. It's because of this red light here. I was just making a video today and I'm going to post it right after this. Um, so I got a little space here for my snares, a couple matching snares, the red sparkle glass glitter, and this is an anniversary sparkle Gretsch, champagne sparkle Gretsch, which was recovered. This was my dad's drum. It belonged to the first kit that he got when I was a kid. He got that kit in, um, let's see, about 1971, and it came with a round badge snare, but all the other drums were uh, stop sign badge, Gretsch. 22, 13, and a, no, 22, 12, and a 14. That was the setup with that snare. And then down here, I got a couple other snares. Terry's Black Real Light that I got from him a couple years ago. And then a couple Supras, a brass one, and a early 70s one. And here's the 68 Supra. I got the thermos, they've been set up. I just made a Danish TV communication breakdown version video. So I'm gonna post that next. So I put the 16 aside. Um, yeah, oh, and this here, I don't think I've specifically shown what this is. This is actually a platinum album award that was awarded to John Bonham posthumously. So that's kind of a special little collector's item, even though I'm not much of a big collector. Uh, that was when I saw that go up on eBay. I um, 
I jumped on it because I thought that was pretty unique and pretty cool. And this is a painting done by a woman named Kiara, sorry, Kiana Brown. And she, for some reason, got obsessed with drums and specifically Ludwig drums and superphonics. I think she loved the styling, the Art Deco lugs and, you know, just in general, these kind of cool shapes and curves on the triple flange hoops and stuff. So she does really cool work. You could look her up. I, I don't know if she's on social media anymore, but um, I think she's still painting. Her name's Kiana Brown, K-I-A-N-A. -A. And the rest of the room is just, you know, the family room. This is where we chill. We're waiting for a sofa right now. So all we got is one chair down here, but normally this is the family area, this is where we all watch Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad and whatever else we're into. So yeah, I got a little artwork put up. Um, there's still a few things that need to be finished out, but the floor is really nice and it is heated. It's um, These are ceramic or porcelain tiles. I guess this is sort of in vogue now. Porcelain tiles that look like wood wood flooring. So that's what's happening there. And here's the thermostat. So in winter, it's gonna be a whole other ball game because it, it did get kind of cool down here in these Chicago winters. And there's the fridge, the infamous, notorious fridge. There's not much in here right now. There's some leftover cake, some champagne, a few beers, <laughs> not well stocked. I need to make a run to the store and fill it up. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for now. I just wanted to give you this brief little tour of the space, and um, I'm going to be setting up the steel kit soon, making a couple videos with those, and um, oh yeah, I wanted to, uh, some people, a lot of people ask about like the process that I use for recording and the mics, and, and I've done this before, but I'll just do it quickly now. These are Biodynamic M160s and I have them set up in an ORTF pattern overhead. And then I've got this old Unidyne mic, very similar, basically the same one you see on Bonham's kit in the mid seventies when he was mic'd up live. And then these are Audix mics that I bought clip-on holders for, and, and I like them, they're, they're good. They're not like super fancy expensive mics, but they work well. So I got the 18 here, a la early 1969. Um, these are all 602s. This is a 602 concert. This is a thin, which is somewhat unusual, thin ride. This is a pre-serial. Oh no, it's not, it's got a serial number. Oops, my bad, 315334. So this is a 1973 Peisty 602, 24 inch thin ride. Terry, that's for you. Um, this is an 18 inch Crash 602. And then these are giant beat hats. These are kind of dented up and well-worn. I've got another pair that's in better condition, but. Um, and then, yeah, for recording, I put everything into this Scarlett um, interface, Focusrite Scarlett interface and uh, how many channels does this one have? I think it's got eight XLR inputs. Um, and then I just run everything through into GarageBand and this is what I was just working on, the communication breakdown video. So um, I'm gonna get that together and post it up real soon. So basically that's it. You know, I'm trying to experiment with lighting down here but nothing ever seems to work quite right. I think I need an expert's advice on, on lighting issues. <laughs> Got a blue light there and a red light there. I don't know. But I do like having the kits behind me. I think they look really cool and it's just pleasant to see them, you know, on a regular basis. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, thanks for subscribing and stay tuned for more videos which are on the way. Peace, everyone. Be well.